Andrew, I've seen some of your work uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here. And uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically in regards to like women driving, I nervous as a matter of fact, are just generally untrue. There's no empirical evidence to back up those claims, which is why you resort to anecdotes quite frequently and say things like, oh, well, it's just common sense, right? But it's not technically common sense. It's just cool. your That's personal fine. opinion. Completely. It's my uh, personal opinion uh, based on my personal biases of my life experience. Now, yeah. when I say these, well, yeah, exactly. And when I say these things, X amount of people agree with me and X amount of people disagree with me. That's fine. And that's the same of nearly any statement in the world. Okay, I, but can say the world is, I can say the world is round and there'll be a percentage of people who disagree with me. That's totally and utterly fine. I come on here and talk about my own personal experiences and my experience is men are better drivers than women. I'm not saying there's no good female also. drivers. I'm not saying a female can't. No, 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 no. You're misunderstanding what I'm saying. There is a truth. And then there is your own personal experiences backed oh, no, by anecdotes, a, right? Just, or your own truth, personal I, opinion no. backed by anecdotes from your own personal experiences. Now, your own personal experiences are oftentimes going to be incorrect and not close to the reality. That's why there's an entire field of statistical analysis. That's why we do empirical. Uh, that's why we rely on empirical evidence when we're making decisions. Why? Because we Let's all go, carry a bunch of Brando. personal biases. And when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grasp the entirety of the situation. We, do, we cannot comprehend it with our human brains. Bro, listen, which I is why when it comes to women driving, it's a funny point because Dropped the truth is different. The truth is the exact opposite. Woman well, face no, no, but listen. First things first, there's lies, there's damn lies, and there's statistics. I'm sure you've heard that from Mark Twain. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're deriving... You can massage, your, yeah, you can massage numbers, driving, but... You can derive, you're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive your truth from an internet study on a bunch of different things. The truth of life is the truth that you experience as an individual. That is the only truth that we all live within. You live within your truths. I live within my truths because these are the truths I've experienced as an individual. If you, certain things happen to you over and over and over and over and over again, but the truth on the internet says it's not true, that doesn't mean that your experiences are any less real. So if you come here and say the internet says X, especially no, Your experiences after can be real. You could be a statistical like, anomaly, as a matter of fact. You can be one of those people, but more more often than not, more often than that, I want to talk to you because I keep letting you talk, and you're finishing your point, and I'm trying to talk. So okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to the the fact that you're going on the internet, finding some study and saying that this is the truth, especially after the age of COVID and all the fucking truth we were told with that garbage. You want to sit here and say, oh, the internet said X. I'm sure the internet did. I'm talking about my personal experiences and some people agree with me and some people do not. That is perfectly fine. Don't give a fuck if people agree with me or otherwise. People are listening to me and they're either agreeing with me or I know, but you're still wrong I, and that's the problem. Uh, I disagree with you. Do you want to be right or do you want to keep speaking into a hug box where people agree with you? And Proof then, to me, you know, wrong. well, if you just completely devalue empirical evidence, actuarial sciences, the Thanks. entirety of the insurance industry that relies on making these sorts of calculations to ensure that these quotes are as profitable as possible, which ends up uh, charging men higher rates than women is a statistical likelihood that men are more dangerous drivers than women across the board and get into more car accidents across the board. If you're going to look at all of that and say it doesn't matter because that does not correspond to my own personal, uh, my own personal experiences then you're silly. You're being silly. You're being a silly person. If everyone thought like you did, right, we would have no scientific achievements on this planet. We would still be living inside of fucking caves. As much as I love Liver King personally, I don't think that uh, that would be a good planet to live on. I'm pretty happy for, I don't know, all the medical achievements, all the scientific achievements that we have reached. And at the heart of all of that, all of those accomplishments lies Five months an past. understanding of arriving at the truth through empirical evidence you done yeah cool in my personal experiences all of the car crashes i've been involved in all the times my car was hit and all the negative experience i've had He's on the road out like women Spencer. were at fault that is now you can sit here and say the insurance claims say that i never said the insurance claims don't say that i'm saying that i am not comfortable with women driving because of my personal experience those are my personal experiences you can drag up all the empirical evidence in the world you want to try and drag up Anyone with a brain knows how that aids the world agendas anyway. I don't want to go too political on a stream that's going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not saying that I can't find a female race car driver. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying either. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like uh, statistical anomalies. I'm, I'm straight up talking about the overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests that women are more careful drivers than men. Okay. 
and therefore better drivers than men. You keep resorting back to uh, your personal anecdotes. You under let, so let me walk this. Let me walk you through this, right? Brother, do you I, agree? I, do you agree that human beings have biases? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, okay. I but but, but I, hey, I, I respected your time. Do you want to answer yeah. my question? Do you believe that human beings have biases? Oh, absolutely, we are all biased. Okay, completely. Do you biased. think that those biases might cloud your judgment? It's not about clouding judgment. Not just your personal cloud, not just your own personal judgment. Do you Thank think you our biases might cloud our personal judgment? I think every single person on earth is biased and lives within a biased absolutely. reality. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. If you agree with me on both of those accounts, you understand that your anecdotes, your own personal accumulation of information is going to be clouded Dirty by your own personal biases. So you're not going to be able to assess the information adequately in the same way that empirical evidence would. This is My precisely friend. why we look at data rather than okay, so make arguments around our... Per Wait, let me finish. Come on. I understand what you're saying. This is, you're just, but this I'll is precisely why we do that. We've the same point like five times here. Everyone's saying kick you. You're long, long winded the point. You're saying that the empirical evidence is saying X, so it doesn't matter what my personal experience is. That's fine. My point is, let me change it. Let's say that the empirical evidence says that a pit bull is more likely to bite you than a Dalmatian. But in your life experience, every time you went near a Dalmatian, it bit you and a pit bull never did. Are you going to go up to a Dalmatian still completely and go, oh, it's fine, completely unbiased because the empirical evidence says X when you're covered in scars? No, you're going to say, Dalmatians bite me for some reason and I'm not comfortable around Dalmatians. That's called human nature. Okay. So I'm telling you my personal experiences and I don't care. I understand your point. Empirical evidence Maybe says X. Women in mother. this country I mean, can do yes. X. I completely get that. For secondly, okay. it's also country by country because you're only talking about America because you're American and you don't see outside of the world. That's fine. I'm, I'm Turkish, well, actually. I grew up in Turkey. That's um, not the point. That's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is I'm uncomfortable with a woman driving. And if you actually ask most women, if it gets late at night or it starts getting dark or it starts raining heavily road, or the go. parking gets difficult, they usually ask the man to drive themselves. I know many women who do that. They're not <laughs> offended by my assumption. I know loads of women who go, oh, I don't want to park. You park it. Loads. There's not a bad thing about it. Who gives a shit, right? It's not even a big deal. You've come on here deciding you really want to stick up for the chicks and maybe, you know, one of them will drive over to your house. It's cool. We've got better things to talk about. I don't think about. I, I, look, look, let's, let's be let's real. I don't think I need to be a, a male feminist to be able to attract women, okay? However, I, I having said that, are. having said that, that was a funny implication. Having said that, you are failing to recognize what I am trying to say. I walked I you through these steps slowly but surely. It, the, the thing is, the Dalmatian example that you gave is great because you are creating now a hypothetical scenario in which you want your opponent to concede. I can do the exact same thing and say, well, in my personal experience, Dalmatians never bite or pit bulls never bite, whichever one you thought was the more aggressive breed, right? In my personal experience, what if in a million times that I have bred pit bulls or been around pit bulls, not a single one of them has ever been aggressive? We will never be able to arrive at OMG. a meaningful solution or a resolution to this conversation you, if we're both operating so on personal asshole. anecdotes and hypotheticals. That is not how you can conduct an appropriate debate. Good. So now you're saying the thing I just said. I have my own biases, my personal experiences, and I say them. Some people disagree, and some people agree, I and I don't 22. care. You yes. now come along. And but I you're have my still own wrong, though, because I'm not operating no, no, no. on biases no, no. when I talk about women driving. I'm talking no, about the empirical you, evidence. No, I might have no, personally sorry. thought women are worse at driving than men as well. But once you arrive at, uh, once you look at the evidence and you realize that uh, said evidence suggests something else, you're yeah. probably not going to continue believing the prior thing that you believed, right? Very we, we've let, we went over the same point like five yeah. times. And no, I, think no, we're just I know, but it's just, it's just weird because okay. I can't like, I, I can't perfect. break through uh, Andrew's. Oh, I, understand. Uh, I understand your point. You're saying that even if I thought here. We're, we're losing the girl. No, no, exactly. I won't talk That's to her. Fine. He's saying yeah, even, so. if I, even if I thought women were worse drivers, yeah. I've seen the empirical evidence and I'm so smart that I ignore my own eyes and ears and believe what the internet tells me. That's what he's That's not what I'm saying. asking you to do, my I'm friend. Sure I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. You believe what you're told to believe. You don't believe your own eyes. <laughs> you don't believe your own ears. And that's what you're going to sit here and talk about empirical evidence that you found on Google. Cool. If you believe everything that's on Google, that is your prerogative, my friend. And if you think that makes you sound smart in the modern world after the three years we've just been through to say that I read a piece of paper that tells me to believe X, so I believe X, and I ignore my own personal experiences. And you think I'm that not you asking sound you to ignore your own personal experiences. Be, I'm simply asking you to look at the data. So let's change the subject because you've just proven your point. Okay. Andrew, do you believe, well, I didn't, I didn't, uh, you didn't really prove anything, but it's cool. Uh, do you believe the earth is flat or do you believe the earth is, is spherical, round? 
Aldi has, has right. his headphones on. Yeah, oh, he took his uh, headphones off? He gets very stressed sometimes and, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cool. Hard. It's important, you know. Sometimes you it's can't take the heat. Up. Sometimes you can't take the heat, so you got to get out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the Earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. What do you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I It respect. looks flat, it feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you uh, believe the Earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the Earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Fine. Did you go up to the fucking moon? Is well, that how you figured correct. it out? Exactly. I flew up into space, and I looked down on Earth. <laughs> And yeah. I saw a big That's crazy. Okay. We, you don't have to, hey, listen, you don't have to concede on that point, but I think you and I both understand the importance of scientific, uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, science. And I thought, wow, this guy, wow. Okay, he's going to ruin the stream. We had a hot chick. Now oh, you're did here. You, is that oh. what you thought? Just, just, just chill out. Like, it's I don't little, wait, so what's up? Is it, is it a little bit more difficult when I'm not like, uh, the traditional, like SJW looking person? Is that why it, it, it feels like the, the stream is a little bit more ruined? No, it's not difficult as a professional. I'll tell you the conversation we just had. Yeah. You, uh, dude, you've been kicked in the face and stuff. Like I'm sure you can handle little old me. Exactly. So I'll tell you as a professional, the conversation we just had, I said, I am biased and I don't believe women can drive. That's my personal experience. I don't care if anyone agrees. Oh. You came along and said, you can't, don't interrupt me. You came along and said, <laughs> no, that's not true because of the evidence. I came and said, I don't care about the evidence. My personal experience. You said, I also have personal experiences and we're all biased. I agreed. Then you said, even if I had personal experiences that said X, I would ignore them because the internet told me to believe Y. I believe what I am that's told. That's not what I said. I said that, that regardless of my own personal biases that I might have, Evidence is still more board. important than my personal biases. When you guys are all talking at once, you and can't it's carry boring, it. and you've lost, and it's boring. So let's just oh. move on to the next subject. Is that, one is that, is that what happens? You just say I'm boring and I lost, and then you win. You is did. that what it is? Do a poll. Do a poll on the chat. And if you won, then we'll continue to talk it. But I'm sure you've lost, and it's boring. Okay. And it's do you, do you want me to leave the conversation that desperately, Andrew? It seems like you're running away a little bit. Oh, we're just going in a never-ending circle. Like we've, okay. We yeah, we can move on from that. We can move on from the the. <laughs> the importance of science and and cool. andrew's personal biases andrew can you tell me a little bit about uh the hustlers university whatever that is not in a promotional capacity i know that like you're doing the rounds on twitch and i know that that's probably giving you a big boost but i want to understand you know because you are a businessman i want to understand how you generate revenue uh is it okay to get this information for Sub free or do i have to pay 50 dollars and then maybe get an affiliate link and get other people to also join so I can make a 10% cut off of them also joining Hustlers University. You can find everything on the website and you can join if you want more information. That's fine. So you don't want to, you don't want to share this information for free right now. You don't want to educate me on that. I don't want to sit here and spend the next hour. You trying to accuse me of some bullshit. I'm not, it's, it's I'm not, I'm, I'm here to learn. Andrew, you are a brilliant right. mind. Sure maybe I a little rattled, maybe a little rattled from uh, the, the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. So I want to hear more about your business strategy, if possible. It's actually quite interesting that people who are too scared to get in the ring try and make fun of people who have bravery to try and make fun of. No, them. I do oh, think it's very brave. brave. I do think okay. I do think it's very brave. Oh, all right. So let's let's not let's not let's not detract the bravery of men who do things you're afraid to do. That's the first thing. The no, 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 no. You you are absolutely yeah. incredibly brave. You still might okay. have CTE, but you are incredibly brave. I I, I appreciate it. I mean, whatever. It's fine. Uh, cool. The point I'm trying to make is I know you want to sit here and talk about hate, hate you and try and break it down and you've prepared a bunch of notes, etc. Et I have no notes whatsoever. I'm a dumbass. I don't know anything I'm talking about. I'm simply here to learn from you. No. Can we stop with the sarcastic shit and just have an actual No, I'm literally, but that's the truth. Bro, you're being so sarcastic, though. Like, why are you being so sarcastic? Like, I'm not. I'm literally. Bro, you're oh, just come, like on. Come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm asking questions. Hassan. You're being sarcastic. Like, listen. Hassan, listen. please. It's pretty clear that I was the better Hassan. So yeah, that's agreed. I agree with that one. If, that's for sure. if you could just get out the call, maybe it would fix the stream. Uh -huh. I think so. It's would boring, you guys, man. if you guys would like me to leave the call, I can do that. I don't want to hey, be, I, I gotta, don't want to be rude. I got to get back to work. I, I, I do not want to be rude boys. Uh, you know, this is your stream. Uh, Andrew, uh, I'd love to talk to you in more detail if you'd like to. I, I hope that one day you can, uh, educate me on your, your revenue strategies uh, I mean, it's, it's, it does look a little bad though. If you're like, if you feel as though I should leave the call because you feel like I'm overpowering you a little bit, you should stay on the call, but I think you should be more socially aware. I am. Is that a bad question? 
Do you oh, not educate no. thousands Did of you young men you about your business strategies? I want to know like more. Brown dad. Okay, I want you to be more socially aware and understand that since you've joined the stream, everyone's begging for you to leave. The vibe's down. It's boring. It's, it's late at night for me. I came here to have fun. You're being boring. No one thinks you're cool. No one thinks you're intelligent. No one thinks you're funny. I, and you I don't think I'm cool, cool or intelligent. Well, I just have questions, and you're not answering them no, for some reason. No, I don't Why are we derailing? I don't have to answer your questions. You're not the police. I don't have to answer you. No, anything. no, no, not at all. No, I am not the UK police nor the Romanian one. I'm simply yeah. asking you questions about your business strategy, don't which answer. you which you don't literally answer. educate people on. I just want to know how cool. you fucking uh, how you do growth and revenue. I, why can't I be a hustler? Yeah, I want to be a hustler like you. Yeah. I want to be a top G, a top bloke, cool. a proper cool. bloke. You can find out more on the website. I would like to stream to get fun again. If you want to discuss this. You don't think your educational content is fun for people to consume? I think everyone's saying kick him. Read the chat. Have you guys read the chat on your stream? <laughs> you want me to You want me to leave that bad? I, I'll. If you want read me to leave that bad, I'll leave. You're, you're just being, I, I mean, listen, I'm just, I'm, just a, I'm just a messenger, but you're just kind of like being sarcastic. Making I'm not. I'm literally not. I promise. I swear to Allah that, that I want to know. just saying wasn't sarcastic. Don't even, you can't even convince me. None of, none of what sarcastic. I have mentioned is sarcastic. I truly so would like to know more. It 85% kick. 85%. No one thinks you're funny or interesting or witty. Your, your little comebacks, no one's interested in them. You haven't uh, won anything. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Event. Andrew, if you want, we can have a, we can have a conversation we again. We can have a conversation again in the future if you'd like. If, you, if you're brave enough, I guess. If you have... HU has an affiliate program for some people if they want to affiliate like everything else in the world. We have over 100,000 students making more than they invest each month. If they didn't make more than they invest, they wouldn't uh -huh. sign up. One of the most successful online educational platforms in is history. It, is it, are join. there multiple layers? You can learn how to make some money yourself if you want to join and have more information. It's all on corporatetech.com. You can find out yourself. If you're too cheap to pay $50 then you're a brokey, nobody gives a shit what you think anyway. You've ruined the stream. Everyone wants you out of it. So either change tune and get with the program and be fun or keep sitting here and talking sarcastic and really slowly and repeating yourself and talking about how you only believe what you see on the internet because no one really gives a fuck and it's boring. So let's move on to something fun. Let's get the tempo up. I've just told you about hate you. We do have an affiliate program. You can find out more on yeah. What it, it, no, it, it is. So, okay. So it, it is a multi-level marketing scheme. Got it. I just wanted to figure out if it was a truly a pyramid scheme. It would be inappropriate of me to assume that it's a pyramid scheme without having you explain it uh, in such terms. But thank you. All right. We whatever a, whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm, I'm game. You're welcome to affiliate anytime you like, friend. There's no problem. Yeah. All right. So well, let's move on because this dude is he's lame, my friends. Let's All get right, this. Yeah, Hassan, I, I appreciate you coming on. We're going to bring in another guest, though. All right. Peace, boys. Hassan, have fun. I mean, I, Andrew, I'm always on. open to talk to you, my friend, if you'd like yeah. to. We'll have another conversation. Have Thank you, my friend. Have a good night. That was bullshit. I've never seen a man act so hysterical. I thought he was such a fucking big boy. What happened? That's crazy. What happened there? How are you going to fucking... Talk so much shit and then cry like a baby. My man was in his fifis on that one. That was Andrew Tate. That's not good, brother. How hard are they dick riding him on stream right now? Let's hear. Oh, man. Wasn't that guy so fucking boring, right? And then he thinks he caught me somehow. But really, he just killed the vibe. I would have loved to argue with him, but he was so boring. <laughs> that, just, yeah. boring. I'm not even I'm not trying to like, I'm, this but is going to come off extremely Andrew dick writing, bro, but like, he had, had the same point five times in a row, bro. No, man, it's boring. Like, I, I, yeah, bro. I, I, bro, I, I know who y'all were talking about. Like, uh, I'm going to be honest. Bro, that is, dude, 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 come on, brother. That is so funny. That is dick writing, homie. That is what you're doing. God damn, dude. Slobbing on it, too. Now I know Andrew's never gonna fucking talk to me though, unfortunately. I think we we find we we definitely gassed that opportunity there. There ain't no fucking way that Andrew comes out of that looking like the bigger man, okay? That's what fucking happens when you actually get a little bit of pushback. Oh, to all you motherfuckers who are worried about like aggressively about like, oh no, oh no, you're not gonna be able to have that combo with them. Eat tater tot. Can't handle the fucking heat, dude. A little bit of pushback. I wasn't even that aggressive. I truly wanted to understand where the fuck he was coming from. He said, oh, he kept repeating the same points. I'm like, what do you want me to do? If the fucking other person. If the interlocutor doesn't comprehend what you're saying, you got to fucking repeat yourself, right? By the way, that is echo chamber shit. That is 100% echo chamber shit for the record. There is nothing more fucking hug boxy and beta than fucking crying about it to the two people that you are literally that are favorable to your point of view and literally fucking saying like oh he was just lame otherwise i could have handled him that's crazy to me i asked one question about him fucking uh, about whether he has a multi-level marketing scheme or not and he literally was like please kick him 
please kick him. Dude, it is kind of fucking nefarious though that he's like running, he's like running after everyone with like really impressionable and young audiences without any fucking pushback whatsoever. And that shit does suck. There's a difference between Aiden Ross platforming Andrew Tate versus XQC debating Andrew Tate versus Andrew Tate going on Bucky or whatever the fuck's show and uh, getting hug boxed the entire fucking time, getting his dick rode extra hard my man literally had to cool down take off the headset and just like you know take a take a fucking deep breath he was like i've made my points and now it's time for my piece i need a sparkling water of course he buckles like this and his fucking frame shatters because he's talking to a fucking adult and not like a bunch of kids who've seen him on tiktok and like him because they think he's fucking cool because they fall for the dumbass fake confidence act that he puts together. So the first time he has like someone who's 30 plus, he's like, oh, uh, get out. You're ruining the vibes. You're ruining the vibes. Yeah, get fucked, Andrew Taint. Come the fuck on, bro. I, I would love, I would love. And he can't make fun of my looks either. So I would love to fucking have that combo with him. I would love to continue having that conversation with him. Now, XQC, I think did a decent job, but a lot of those people don't respond to that. A lot of those people don't respond to commentary. They also need someone who's like also exuding alpha masculine energy or whatever the fuck is they're looking at shapes and colors they're not looking at like what you're fucking saying and i think xqc did a good job by the way he literally begged the chat to do a fucking poll to kick me that's so sad here's the ending all right let's Dude, take a, a little autistic mate with the statistics that fucking geek i sat here wasted three hours of my life and at the end i would have told you how to get the beautiful woman from iowa and you fucked it up like a fucking <laughs> pussy and now, the only appropriate response from me. He said I'm autistic? What? <laughs> He's talking about the other dude. Uh, the one before me. <laughs> His fucking statistics. Um, for those of you who are wondering, good advice you can get on the internet from people who aren't fucking weirdo losers who portray themselves as like incredibly confident men. I wear everything on my sleeve. Okay, I'm honest all the time. I tell you when I'm insecure about things, which is probably a problem because a lot of people on the internet like to use that against Daddy. you. I get emotional in certain moments, which is probably not great because when you get emotional, look like you lost the debate like Andrew Tate did earlier today. But ultimately, you know, this is this is supposed to be a place for positivity and learning. Education and entertainment, okay? Everything that you have seen out of the left on the internet oftentimes is exaggerated. You see like YouTube videos, like SJW's own compilations, right? You see all these different things like where, oh, leftists are looking hysterical. No, I yell at the left all the fucking time when they're like, no jokes are allowed. I think jokes are important. I think you can and should make jokes from time to time. I also think self-improvement is really important. I think that there are a lot of people who don't have positive role models in their lives. I do believe that there are a lot of people out there who need desperately for positive role models. And I think that people lose sight of, of progress and the importance of progress Beating when they end up, out. they end up getting lost in the sauce on the internet with all these fucking grifters taking advantage of not having any like adequate rudder or any adequate guidance, okay? Sometimes you might uh, disagree with me and that's okay. Sometimes you might be one of these fucking weirdos that's a 21 month subscriber, for example, who will uh, put a tweet out there and be like, how do you feel about this? And it says, Hassan, you're getting a little fat, buddy. you should ask Tay for workout advice. If you're a 21 month subscriber like that, who is personally so fucking weird that they are first of all i've lost a fuckload of weight my friend don't worry about that i was very fat though because of covid and it happens to everyone it happened to a lot of people but that is actually important that's a part of self-improvement that's the same journey that i talk about all the time chad i saw son at twitchcon he looked good thank you knut shit happened to me i can't shake it brother you can shake it i promise Dream, maybe women are so incredibly attracted to his top G energy that they wreck every time they're in the car with him. You're falling off, to be honest. By the way, here's my Twitch Prime affiliate link. Subscribe for more top G energy if you're not a beta male, Lemma Fayal. Damn, Dream was watching too. What's up, Dream? How can you disagree about empirical evidence? Bro, he literally said it doesn't matter. I didn't like you much, but you literally manhandled the tater tots. You got my respect now. Thanks. Hey, didn't know what hit him. He thought he could just stream roll you, but then he realized, you know, his tactics. So he then resulted to saying, this is boring. Chill out. Taking his headphones off mid debate. Look at chat. They want to kick you and you're ruining the vibe. That's exactly what happened. I want to see like, I want to see what, uh, if there's anyone who actually had their minds changed, I want to see some fucking tater tots. You know what I mean? The tater tots actually have like a, a, an attitude shift in that circumstance. And also, more importantly than that, I wonder if fucking LSF is going to side with uh, Andrew Taint.